Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of them videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan, I'm telling you. All right, you'll pick up a lot of knowledge. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. Dimitri Bavol has one of the best lead hands in boxing, if not the best. Against southpaws, he turns his normal feints and probes into fencing with the lead hand. It's a skill set and strategy that you would typically see the best southpaws in boxing utilize. What it means for Bavol, an orthodox fighter, is that he has a significant strategic advantage over any southpaw around his weight class. Within the fencing itself, High Glove typically wins in which Bavol overstands. Bavol takes away his southpaw opponent's lead hand, which makes the lead backhand predictable. If the southpaw participates in the fencing battle with Bavol, he can set traps fenting the pawing lead hand, having his opponent reach for it, then throwing the cross instead. If the opponent refuses to participate in the fencing battle, they're at a disadvantage as the threat of Bavol's hand is closer to possibly blind you. It's controlling the dead space in between Bavol and his opponent. It's an obstacle in the way of any lead hand punch, aka punch traffic, and it's an obstacle in the way of gaining mid-range or inside positioning. Bavol also uses it as a sensor or like a trip wire to signal reverse steps or pendulum step counters. Maybe most importantly, Bavol's fencing lead hand creates a mental barrier that serves to hesitate opponents and stagnate their offense. Simple reverse steps and pendulum steps are a staple in Bavol's game that serve to reinforce his lead hand play. His stance and style maintain a constant balance that doesn't load punches, but it allows his hands to flow independently from his legs. So as soon as the southpaw opponents try to take penetration steps past the lead hand barrier to close the distance, Bavol is immediately either reverse shuffling, stepping, or pendulum bouncing out of range. Bavol's awareness of distance maintains just the right amount of spacing to not step too far out of range as to not be able to counterpunch, especially with the pendulum bounce where both his feet land at the same time so he can bounce or step right back with offense. Bavol's method of reinforcing his defense past the reverse steps, shuffles, and pendulum bounce is the use of control. Bavol would default to the high guard just to end up aligning and coming down with either his lead or back hand on the opponent's head to control it and shut down offense and avoid even exchanges. Off the fencing lead hand, he'll also post his opponent's head or body to control it and safely move away or direct his opponent away.
On top of all that, in the open stance, the cross is king because of defensive alignment. Vival has a great lead and set up cross behind the elite lead hand. It's a straight right hand that allows him to step to mid-range with offense quickly and push off the front foot immediately to step back out of range, matching his in and out style perfectly and still controlling distance. So defensively in the open stance, Bavo controls his opponent's punches, controls distance with an elite lead hand, reinforced with the elite step back game and footwork that he counters off of, reinforced with the high guard and head control to shut down exchanges that aren't on his terms, plus a lead cross that's amongst the best in boxing. Good luck with him.